Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. You dare come here and accuse us of taking him? Let me throw him out this Renaixi and his Ilkderen. May they receive this punishment for their arrogance. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and avorst, Tire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea. But we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there. And many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. I can give a detailed examination of the corpse. It is a task that I have been trained to perform. I gladly cede the privilege. We note a great number of large blunt force contusions, covering the entire surface of the victim's body. None of the wounds could be attributed to a blade or a spear, nor are there any visible bullet entry points. Practically every bone has been broken in multiple places. The rib cage was torn open and then collapsed. The open wound reveals multiple perforations of the vital organs. Here, the borders of the wounds have been singed. The flesh is blackened, exposed to a flame, no doubt. And we also note several patches of mineral residue. They seem oddly out of place in spite of the exotic insular origin of our deceased. I would be hard pressed to tell you which of the wounds proved to be the fatal blow, but one thing is certain. He was smashed violently by a giant rock that was without a doubt on fire. Yes. These wounds are similar to those given by a heated cannon shot, though in a less regular fashion. The dead soldiers we found had identical wounds. As crazy as this may sound, whoever is responsible for this attack is capable of wielding molten rock. 
In any other circumstance, your conclusion would qualify you for an asylum. But I stand on the side of the improbable. The natives' powers reside outside the body of knowledge we possess. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachkadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin.
Hello, Mev. Renoixi, why have you come here again? I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosdere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken, according to a witness. And Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth? Only the Nadaig Maneman have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinolmenawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Doren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you.
I recognize this weapon. It's Katasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato alkom frangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara vriden anta hanemo kwate grenpen, linkui dam da renao te da hodos. Lemat, de ta hawan kloisam, de ta lugedon velam, de ta ragam buledam. The Tatamenam Reloidan, Adotalaman Kantebaidam, and Antelam for Frag Tangom. Katasar, help me, please.
Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster. Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasach protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me when they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasach. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell.